Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here again on a, a sunny day here in my home city of Dundee in Scotland on the East Coast. Uh, how you doing? How's things where you are? I hope you're all well. hope you're having a good time, enjoying being off work if you're off work. Um, if you're on vacation, I hope you're having a great time. Although why would you be watching these videos if you were on vacation? I don't know. <laughs> Some people are like that. Right. This is uh, this might be for the month of August the last shave using the UK Artisans uh, Stroke Soap Makers. Um, I've used them for the whole month of August. Someone suggested it in a comment. Um, I can't remember who it was, um, but it's been good. It's been good highlighting and uh, showcasing the UK soap makers. There's lots of them out there. They're very good. Um, yeah. So this is the last one and I'm killing two birds with one stone with this one because I'm highlighting Wickham's and I'm also highlighting the gentleman's groom room which is here in Dundee. Uh, so here is the soap. This is called Essence of Scotland Berry Fields O' Blair. Berry Fields O' Blair. Now Berry Fields, um, that's uh, like Raspberry Fields, Strawberry Fields, Places like that. They're, and here in the northeast of Scotland, they used to be very prominent. They still are. There's still lots of uh, fields with uh, fruit, um, summer fruits and stuff like that. So, uh, and Blair is a place called uh, Blair Gowrie, which is just up the road from here, uh, probably about 30, 40 miles, maybe not even that. Uh, and a lot of the uh, the strawberry, raspberry fields and stuff were up there. But this is a uh, this is what this soap is. You can see it around the. The side there. Special edition, it's made by Wickham's. It's a slightly different recipe to the 1912. There's the ingredients there. Uh, here's the tub here. Yeah, there's the soap. I've used this before. Oh, it's just absolute summer fruits. Uh, the notes on it are plum, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, peach, apricot, blackcurrant, lime, apple, apple galbanum, and vetiver. Man, what a scent. The vetiver just rounds it out at the bottom. It's beautiful. Really, really good. Um, actually, I'll take a, a screenshot from the Gentleman's Groom Room's website uh, showing the soap uh, and it will tell you all about it so you can take a look. So that's the soap we're going to be using. Berry Fields O'Blair. Some people like that. Berry Fields O'Blair. <laughs> Great. Free summary scent. Beautiful scent. Now, on to the brush and razor. Uh, I'm very lucky in that I get sent some stuff from fellow wet shavers, companies, um, people wanting me to highlight stuff and showcase it and stuff like that, which is it's all very good. I, I show it off, give you my thoughts, pass them on to you guys, share it with the viewers, and then you decide and make your own mind up. Uh, but this was a gift from, well, actually, the razor and brush uh, from two different guys in the States. Let me show you the brush first. Uh, this is the Thistle Brush. This was a custom brush um, commissioned by Ernie Rocha and Leo Frilo made it. And on the bottom, he put a coin of the thistle, which is the national flower of Scotland. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the colours on the thistle, you can see it there. The flower is kind of purple and the stem and leaves and stuff are green. So that's what colour this brush is. And there's a, I think it's a, is that a game changer or not? Ernie uh, requested Leo Pr Frilo put in that. But look at this brush, absolutely stunning. Yeah, custom brush. I think Ernie has one similar to this. It has a slightly different coin on the bottom, but um, that's the brush I'm going to be using. Right, the other thing, the razor, which was another gift from a very kind subscriber or viewer. Uh, I like to call him a friend now. Um, he sent a package before with lots of nice things in it. Um, some of it I haven't used yet, which uh, I will get round to using. But he contacted me and says, I want to send you uh, this particular razor. M myself and my son use it and it's fantastic. Um, here it is here. This is the Razor Rock Mamba. Uh, and with the super neural handle, I think this is. Yeah, so thank you, Michael. Very, very kind of you. Michael's in uh, Dallas, Texas. So he sent this razor 
and he said, um, I'll also send you, um, I managed to go on the Italian Barber website and pick up a, a 0 0.70 Mamba head in the scratch and dent. So you can see that it has it on there. SND, scratch and dent. So they have these on sale and there's supposed to be some kind of mark on it. But I can't see anything. I can't see anything at all wrong with that. So um, this one is a 0 0.5, I think it's a 0.53, the original, but you can buy that head, which is supposed to be a little bit more aggressive. Now, Michael uses the 0 0.53 as a daily shaver. Uh, his son, Lucas, uses the 0 0.70 as a daily driver, but they both use the same blade, which he sent some of these blades as well. So I'll show you now. This is a long intro, is it? Get on with it, Kevy. Shut up, I'm explaining everything. <laughs> Uh, here's the blades they recommend. Astra Blue. You don't see these too often. I think I've had a pack of these before, but I can't remember what they were like. So they suggest putting that in the razor. Uh, the 0.53 is supposed to be very mild. So today I'm going to use the uh, 0.70. Yeah, similar to the Game Changer, but it has the head has a bit more of a curve on it here. Uh, and it's different from other heads that you load it, the blade, onto the, the base plate and then put the top cap on. Right, so let's get the blade out. Right, you can take your earplugs out now. I've finished that description. <laughs> right, Astra Blue. Yeah, it has it on it. Uh, if you can see it there, Astra Superior Stainless. Nothing on the other side. Right, so put the blade on that. These have all been cleaned and sanitized. And so it goes on the base plate like that. And then you put the top cap on like so. And uh, I always put a little washer on here. Let's get the handle off the 0.53. Yeah, that's the good thing about having uh, different handles and stuff. You can put them on different razor heads if you just buy the head. No overhang on this razor. Yeah, spot on with the uh, the blade. Very good. Right, looking forward to it. Let's get this uh, moosh, moosh lathered up. And put the brush in the water. Give it one squeeze. Put some water on the soap. And we'll just get to one. Yeah, so you can see the water dripping out there. That's from the brush. But that's okay. shave yeah I was meant to shave yesterday and I kind of ran out of time I was doing stuff and had things to do around the house and stuff and had to take little Riley out for his walk I just ran out of time so by the time I, I got things everything done it was like 10 o'clock at night I was like I'm, I'm beat I need bed <laughs> so uh, I'll shave today so that's it now just uh, gathering the soap in the brush and the thistle brush yeah Michael Vendrell a very very kind and generous wet shaver to me anyway right I think that'll be enough but we shall see let's uh, wet the face take what's in the tub just put a little bit on Yeah, the scent on this is um, just pure berries, just pure summer fruits. <laughs> it's lovely. Right. Let's go with that. I'm looking forward to using this uh, Razor Rock Mamba. Um, yeah, I've heard good things about it. Right, let's go with this brush. Wow. Yeah, very soft, no. You see how easy that was to lather? Yeah, I'm not sure how this um, differs, this uh, soap base, from the, uh, the 1912 one. It's, when I spoke to Ian at the, the gentleman's groom room, Ian's the, the guy that owns the shop and runs things down there, very knowledgeable. Um, he told me it was just slightly different from the 1912, but he didn't go into detail as to what it was. Right. 
good dip of the water there. Another dip and another dip. Yeah, so this can take a can take a good drink. Being a nice Scottish soap, we can take a good drink. <laughs> Berry Fields of Blair can take a good drink. Why do you always put that gruff voice on, Kenny? I don't know, it just sounds more Scottish when you do it like that. the same if you did it in a high pitch voice. Well, I suppose it would actually. So you could yeah, start getting a little bit more polite. The berry feels a blur. This is a this is a Wickham's based soap. You know, it's uh, it can take it can fair take a drink. I like a wee whiskey myself. You know, of an evening. <laughs> oh, me and the missus be uh, sit and do the crossword puzzle and uh, have a wee whiskey and maybe a maybe a wee deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> oh, marvelous. <laughs> Deep fried Mars bar, I'm not having any deep fried Mars bars. I'll have a chip in, that'll be me. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Now look at this. Look at that. Make sure you add enough water to your soaps, to your lathers, if you've got time. Because look, you'll be, look at that. Just superb. Like an ice cream cone. Right. I'm just going to leave it like that. <clears throat> right, mamba. Mamba, mamba. <laughs> I often wonder to myself, the things that come into your head, Kevin, it's maybe wise not to say them every so often. Mamba, mamba. Right, let's go. Let's see how, how this blade performs. Yeah, because this is slightly more, has more of a curve on it, instead of the angle being like that, you maybe need to put it a little bit more like that. So you just catch the blade. So I've got a blade in it. <laughs> wow. That is so smooth. Yeah, as I say, I, uh, I'm sure I had a pack of these before, but I can't honestly remember what they were like, the uh, Astra Blues. Um, I think it was uh, many years ago. No overhang on this razor, so no worries about going around the, the lugs. Can you hear my phone going there? Pretty easy to get under the nose. Yeah, I've put my phone, I've not put it on silent, I've put it on vibrate because I'm waiting on a call. You know, one of those calls. Oh yeah, one of those calls, Kev, yeah? Like that, is it? <laughs> what kind of call could that be, Kev? <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, really. I think the 0.53 might have been a little bit too mild for uh, all this stubble. I've got about f four days growth here, so. But um, Michael said as a daily driver with this blade, it's fantastic, the, the milder plate. So I'll try that one time. Right, first pass done. Wow, wow. Beautiful, like silk. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number the Okay, nicely rinsed off. Back to this uh, this old brush. Yeah, the scent strength out of the tub is maybe about a, a four. Lathered up, it gets to about a six. I would say. 
just really good. Yeah, the gentleman's groom room. So um, they do their own soaps. They do this kind of range from Wickham's. They also do the Essence of Scotland, which is made by a company up in the Shetland Islands, which is the most northerly islands in the UK. I've been there. I told you that story before with the uh, the maggots on the plane when we took maggots up to. Uh, we were visiting people up there, and we took maggots up on the plane because he was a uh, he was a wanting to go fishing, and he couldn't get bait up there. <laughs> so we took maggots on the plane in an old uh, an old plastic container. Like I think it had margarine or something in it at one point. And uh, as soon as the cabin crew opened the the uh, <laughs> overhead locker. Whoosh, the stink of the maggots everywhere. I was like, oh! You had to be there. <laughs> People were like, oh, what's that smell? Myself and Mrs. Kevy were like, quick, get off the plane, quick, quick. <laughs> right, second pass across the growth with this uh, wonderful mamba. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, uh, Michael, who sent this razor, his uh, partner or significant other half, as he likes to call her, um, Holly. She's uh, she's written a musical. Do you believe that? She's written a musical. Yeah, so um, I've heard some of the songs from it, very good, great singer. I think she's written all the songs and the music and stuff. Yeah, but it's about, uh, I think it's only if you have like, so long left to live, like minutes, like sort of, I think it's 38 minutes she's written it about. What would you do? Who would you who would you go and see? What would you shave with? Thirty-eight minutes left before the world ends. What would you use to shave? Ooh, that'd be a tough one, wouldn't it? Yeah, eh, I'm not sure. Probably success. Yeah, don't know. Right, second pass. <sighs> Fantastic. Right, let me run so I'll come back for three. Pass number. Pass number three. Okay, rinse it off nicely. Right, I'm gonna take what's uh, in this tub and just put it on my face. No sense in it going to waste. Back to the brush. Yeah, I've actually, um, the uh, guy that sent this and commissioned this brush, Ernie, I've not spoken to him for a while, so Ernie, if you're still watching these videos, <laughs> we have to catch up soon, mate. Yeah, great brush. I think, um, as far as I'm aware, Leo, Leo Friel is still, um, making brushes, he'll make a brush for you if you want a certain design or you want a certain coin in the bottom of, of your brush I think he still does all that right third pass against the growth with the man bat with the 0 0.70 head I really enjoyed this uh, using these UK soaps. Sometimes it's good to do that with a, a certain month because if you stick to it, it kind of makes you use these. Like if you're 
some people um, do austere August. They'll, they'll only use the same soap, brush, <clears throat> razor for the whole of that month. And it's a good way to uh, practice using a razor that you're maybe not aware of that that you're not that you don't get along with or maybe you've not used it often enough. I just wanted to do um, UK soap makers. That's great. Getting under the nose there. Yeah, really close. Good slickness on this soap. Right, three passes done. I'll have a quick rinse. Let me see if there's any. Wow. Yeah, usual spots. Any pickups needing done? Usually on the neck here. Moustache feels great. Sides feel great. How are your shades going? I hope they're going good. I hope they're going well. I hope you're enjoying trying out new things. If you're new to this way of shaving, take your time. Take your time, watch videos, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Everyone that starts shaving this way has uh, lots of questions. So don't think there's a, a stupid question or a silly question, there's not. Someone will have asked it before, someone will have the answer. Yeah, so, um, so I've got this question, Kevy. Yeah, what was it? Um, see, when I'm shaving, like, I think of the, the lottery numbers. Do you have them for me? Mm, no, sorry. I thought you said someone will have the answer. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, <laughs> quick rinse. <laughs> Oh, if only, eh? If only. Right, that feels great. Fantastic. Yeah. It's like a skating rink. It's like a skating rink. <laughs> really good. BBS, right. Let's uh, see what's left in this brush. And the tub. I'll just take what's from the tub. Look at that lather. Beautiful, right. Put some of this on, get myself a nice, a nice fruity face. <laughs> and I'll see you for the post shave once I rub this in. Leave it on, clean up my gear, rinse it off with hot water, cold water, come back for the post shave. Mm. Belly up! Great shave. Great. Right, on to the post shave. Uh, I'm only going to use one product. There we go, the matching splash. Gentleman's Groom Room, Essence of Scotland, Berry Field Joe Blair. Yes, yeah, probably like raspberry juice. Wow, oh, nice. Nice restrictor in there. Yeah, I can smell a good bit of alcohol in it, so hopefully get a little bit of a burn. Yeah. Nice. 
it smells a, like the soap. <laughs> a little bit more, I think there's, there must have a little bit more vetiver in it. Which is good, it's not as kind of berry forward. Yeah, but but you can definitely smell the, the fruits in it. But it has a bit more vetiver, I think. Nice little burn from it too. And a nice restrictor in it. Did I show you that? I think I did. Yeah, nice little bottles. Clear liquid. Beautiful. Triple filtered, it says there. Very good. Fantastic. What a great shave. Right, let me show you what we've used. <coughs> Excuse me. The soap was the Gentleman's Groom Room, a uh, Wickham's collaboration, traditional shaving soap, Essence of Scotland, Berry Fields O'Blair. Enriched in fragrance with strawberry, raspberry, blackcurrant, blackberry and vetiver. Yeah, I'll put links for everything. You can go and check it out. Lovely label this, with all the fruits around the outside. Uh, there's the soap, all cleaned out. Uh, it'll sit like this, upside down for a couple of days. Lid will go back on and it'll go back into its uh, storage. So, very good. The brush, Ernie, Leo, thank you. The Ernie Rocha, Leo Friolo, Thistle brush, specially made for me. Um, the colours of the thistle, the flower of Scotland, beautiful, really, really nice. With uh, I think it's a did I say it's a game changer or, not, or a boss knot? I can't remember. What I, can't remember. Um, yeah, there we go. Beautiful, great brush. I love it. Um, the razor, star of the shave actually for me. The Razor Rock Mamba. 316L stainless steel. This is the 0 0.70 head, so they're slightly more aggressive. Uh, I also have the 0.53. Thank you very much, Michael, uh, for sending this through. Uh, and he suggested putting the blade, this particular blade, in it. He said it was very good. Uh, so the blade was a brand new Astra Blue stainless. Um, and I have to say, Michael, your recommendation was spot on absolutely fantastic um yeah really really smooth i couldn't hardly feel the blade it gave a great shave effortless uh razor rock for the price you get a stainless steel razor um the price points phew, just phenomenal as i say you can buy the heads on its own if you want to use a different handle or you could buy it as one razor but again i'll put links for everything in the description three passes pickups face wash rinse it off uh, post shave, one thing, the matching splash from the gentleman's groom room, Berry Fields O'Blair. Yeah, it's um, it's drying down now, and uh, it it's you can smell the vetiver. I'm getting the, the the base of the vetiver, but the fruits are definitely there too. But it's nice. Um, yeah, great shave. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, they'll bring out one of these um for the winter with uh, custard as well. You know, berries and custard. Mm, nice hot custard for the winter months. That would be good. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> yeah, just sit and make the lather up. Just to, just sit and eat the, 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 the lather. What? I don't know. It's just what's going on in here. Berry, berries and custard. Mmm. Mm, it takes me back to my school days. <laughs> Used to get cake and custard and it was always like lumpy custard. But it was, because we were Scottish, we have such sweet tooths. Sweet teeth, sweet teeth. <laughs> it's just like, oh, we want pudding, we want pudding. Great stuff, right? <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much for um, letting me share what's inside my head with you guys. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's not always like this. Um, honestly, if you're new to the channel, thanks very much. Thanks for all the comments, keep them coming, uh, and I'll uh, try and endeavor to answer them all. Right. I'm uh, going away to get some berries with custard for lunch and uh, have yourselves a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, yeah, stay safe, look after loved ones and I'll see you in the next shave. Until then, take care of yourselves. See ya.